Hi, I'm Jocelyn Hagen. And I'm Peter John. I make music under the name Spear Fisher. And we're here in the woods to tell you a little bit about our piece Hummingbird, which was just premiered by the North Dakota State University Concert Choir under the direction of Dr. Joanne Miller. It was premiered in March of 2017. First, I want to tell you a little bit about how Peter and I met. Um, or started working together. We started creating these pieces that we'd call experimental electronic art song. Um, we have a couple of those pieces and we performed them at North Dakota State University for one of my recitals and just got this great response. And it made us want to do more. So we approached uh, Joanne Miller, the choir director, and said, what if we create a new choral work for you? And she's like, yes, let's do it. The thing that was the most interesting about this whole process was seeing the trial and error between Jocelyn and the choir and myself and Spearfisher. We had many conversations about the individual parts of the piece and how they might best work, both in terms of the overall piece and also just pragmatically how to make the sound or the effect that we wanted uh, work with the students. It was all about what was on the page and how that could be turned into the sound and the effect that we wanted. And so that whole process to me was really fascinating. It's for mixed choir, soprano solo, and electronics. Um, but also a little bit of piano in there too. And Peter performs with the choir um, on all of those things and, uh, and it's a really fun thing to watch as well. Yeah, so you should check out the video on YouTube. We came in with like uh -huh. one scrap of music and, it w and nothing else and we're like, okay, and Jocelyn just threw me up on the pony and was like, okay, do something with them. We got to take part in the entire process of composing this piece. So they came in with ideas and we got to try them out and they'd listen and say, oh, we liked that or let's try it a little different. And it was really a rewarding experience um, being able to be a part of the whole process, not just getting the final piece and learning it and then performing it. We started experimenting with different sounds and I had these crazy ideas of, you know, having people entering in different times or not entering or making kind of human delay systems. I had this idea of, of throwing a sound, you know, back and forth around us and then, but I'd only thought of having it be with one voice and Jocelyn's like, people wouldn't know when to come in. But then she refined it into making it, a, having a chord that travels around the choir. So you hear different parts of a chord become activated that also become different parts of space. So you hear spatially a sound from over here, a sound from over there, just like in nature, like in the woods here, <laughs> where you hear like a, a bird from here or something from over there. So it was trying to capture, a lot of it was trying to capture this naturalistic feel of the text and the piece. One of my favorite parts of this piece is the synthesizer that Peter created from all those samples of the choir that we took on our very first visit. He took their, their sound, I think one of the sounds was them all humming a pitch in unison and then spreading apart from that pitch to an indeterminate you know, uh, tone cluster and then coming back into that unison pitch. And he took that sample and he worked it into a synthesizer. So you could play a note on the synthesizer and it, the attack would sound very synthesizer-y, but then it would morph into this choir sound and then it would even do this effect that he had done with the choir. So it's, it's actually a recording of you know, the NDSU choir singing that exact thing, mm -hmm. but then I could, I could play it at different places in the keyboard and have it come in at different pitches, so it gives this really wild sound of just like, like losing your feet on the ground, or like if you're in a dream and you're running, but like the floor is a carpet, you know, and you're sinking into it or something, you know, but it's yeah. a very bizarre effect mm -hmm. in terms of the soundscape that it, that it gives. I also really loved the beats section where we had the choir doing this. Which we like, almost cut too. Yeah, well, right. well, and in the piano version, it doesn't really make sense to do it. So right. you've got to do the electronic version and bring Peter in to do the really cool beats section. But yeah, I mean, the choir is stomping and clapping and snapping and laughing. And um, it's just this, yeah, it's like this strange and wonderful release of emotion that you feel when you're, when you're listening to it. The score started out even like one page, but then it became this 28-page behemoth. <laughs> yes. So it's now, you know, and it's 
Jocelyn arranged so well a lot of these crazy ideas so we ended up separating the choir into two groups there's parts where like it's just lines going off into tone clusters uh, but it's all very understandable and clear <laughs> 